enter into the hard history of flying because uh, these airplanes are exceedingly rare. In fact, there's only one gladiator flying today. Indeed, and here it is. And here it is. Anna landing. And Taff is probably coming to land quite soon. I have a feeling he might be going home. Yeah, maybe. Straight on. So on the far side of the airfield then, the, the Westland Lysander and the Gloucester Gladiator. The Lysander, you may have noticed, is black all over. It's the clandestine operator, the aircraft famous for dropping special operations executive troops and uh, civilian workers behind enemy lines in occupied France during the war, often in the dark yeah. on just three lights and a flashing torch. But let's enjoy the two Mercury-engined aircraft in beautiful Shuttleworth formation as they come by. Probably uh, some of the boldest flying ever made. Uh, even today, you can get lost. I know pilots who, who, who got lost using the latest GPS, and they had no GPS. They took off from here, Great Britain. They flew across the channel at night, dark night. They crossed what, 150 or 200 miles of France without any lights, without anything on the ground. Used as a kind of, of navigation aid, and just from time to time, maybe uh, a silvery uh, reflection of the moon in the river or whatever, and they would find a grass field, not an airfield, a real field, maybe what, 1,000 feet long.